Hey guys, and welcome back to part two of my review of the Parlo Co 16 pen display, right? Well, as a 3D artist, uh, many of you are using a pen display and the thing here is to find out whether you need to spend loads and loads of money or whether a Parlo will uh, perform just as well, right? Well, we'll find out. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you guys what you need to look at when you are setting it up, so calibration and whatnot, and then we're gonna take it for a spin in Photoshop and in ZBrush, all right? Here we go. All right, guys, well, uh, we're on my desktop, and um, what I want to talk to you guys about before we get started is uh, the setup of the display, right? So uh, if you watched video number one, you know how to set it up. You have the HDMI cable in your PC and in the tablet, your USB cable in the PC and in the tablet. Install the driver and you should be good to go. Now, if you have installed the driver, you will be able to go in here and open up an application called Tablet Setting which will give you this, okay? Now, if we look at the pen setting to start with, first do a quick check to make sure things are working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in here and move on that little screen there, and as you can see, it's working. Here's a profile that you can play with if you want to adjust uh, pressure settings. I'm not gonna do that because I want to do that in, the, in Adobe, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, but here you can set up some sensitivities, right? And I'm gonna leave that alone as well. Now, if you get a mapping, that one is pretty important. I got two monitors on my system. I got the one on the left and the one on the right here, okay? And as you can see, I got full monitor setting, which will copy both of my screens on a tablet. You don't want that. I got monitor one. That's the one I want to have duplicated on my pen display, or I can choose monitor two. I'm gonna leave that alone, right? So make sure that the full monitor is copied onto your pen display. So the thing in the bottom here, that's your pen display, that's your monitor. Okay, so this is all good. Now, what we need to do is we need to calibrate. So I'm gonna click on this guy, which will create these red uh, little bullseye thingies on the corner. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna tap on the red circle. And as I do that, it will disappear and it'll be one generated on the top right, bottom right, bottom left. It's going to ask me whether well, that's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Going to save that. So that's calibrated. Now, next we got the key setting um, on the left hand side of the pen display. You got a bunch of buttons that you can uh, configure if you like. Uh, for example, I want to look at the top one here and I want to use that as right click. Okay. So that one is set and then the one in the middle is set and the others, I'm not sure if I'm going to use them yet. But if you want to, you can just go in here, click one of these, you know, and, and work like that. So that's fine. I leave that alone. This is the about section. Here is the save mode. And then we're going to go to exit. So now that that is set up, let's open up Photoshop and let's see what we got. Right, guys, well, right in the Photoshop, as you can see, I opened up a new uh, file, a new canvas, and uh, let's see what we got going on here. Now, first of all, you need to make sure that you have a pen pressure set up. So if I go up here and open up this menu here and go into Shape Dynamics, right in this menu, you see instead of off, I got it set to pen pressure. Now, I got this little warning here, but don't worry about it because I have um, <clears throat> seeked help from Adobe. They installed that little uh, file there. Uh, it's all good, okay? And I'll prove that to you. So uh, we got that set up. I'm gonna go and take a simple brush uh, that is now selected, let's see. And I'm gonna simply just go over my canvas, very, very light. And then I'm gonna start to increase pressure. And as I do that, you can see it works like a charm, right? Okay, let's go in here. Let's uh, change color to black, click okay. Then let's do the same thing. Black, black, black more pressure, more pressure, more pressure. Cool, let's go in here and make the brush a bit smaller in black and let's do some detail work. And hopefully you can see that. It's a very, very light. I'll do a little bit more pressure. But what's important here is that it's extremely responsive. It works um, as good or even better as I would say an actual uh, pen on paper. 
uh, you can go and work super fast and it's basically like a marker so it's kind of cool right so I assume I don't have to go through all the settings in Photoshop you guys know how that works I just want to show you guys how the pen display works which is kind of neat uh, we just programmed that top button on the pen display to uh, function as a right click so let's push that and as you can see it works like a charm so I can move that up okay and do that again just by simply pushing that button and there you go all right so that's Photoshop um, that is one thing I use a lot the other thing is a ZBrush so let's open that up okay guys well I thought that went quite well in uh, Photoshop uh, like I mentioned before I had uh, some issues there when the pen wasn't responding but that turned out to be an Adobe issue not a, a Pablo issue but once I got hold of Adobe help desk it was fixed in a matter of minutes and ever since it worked like a charm okay so very happy with the performance in Photoshop uh, I had the opportunity to work in uh, ZBrush with the Co 16 and to be honest I'm very happy with that as well now the main purpose for me is to kind of uh, do a review of products I would say compared to things like Wacom and UG and I use all of these brands um, I kind of take issue with the um, enormous amounts of money that need to be paid for a pen display uh, when other models like this one uh, performs equally or to be honest sometimes even better for a much much lower price okay so that's what I like about it I mean it's all expensive enough with the software and everything so uh, there you go all right so uh, full disclaimer here I have not been paid to do this video uh, Pablo sent me this unit to review it um, so just full disclosure uh, that said let's see how it performs in ZBrush so I'm just gonna go in here take something simple let's say a cube drag that out position it and then go in here and click on edit and click on make polymesh 3d and then go in here to uh, geometry and let's bump that up a little to I would say about half a million now first of all as you can see navigation is super super fast I'm just moving my pen around and it's crazy fast right and very responsive now you can obviously you know hold down alt move it around but you can also program the keys that you have on the side of your display if you prefer to do that or if you don't have uh, your keyboard uh, you know close by so you can do that um, what I've also noticed is that the screen on the um, the co 16 is kind of matte finish in the sense that it's not crazy reflective uh, because that it gets annoying really quick so if you got a light source directly on it of course you can see that but other than that um, the visibility is pretty good even at an angle which is kind of nice okay so that's good another thing that I like about it is that it doesn't feel like glass in the sense that your hand is you know having trouble uh, moving over the screen and also they got that two finger glove thing included that will help you as well okay cool uh, let's see what else um, you don't have to uh, recharge the pen I mentioned that in video one that is something I like too because that is yet another cable that you don't need okay so we got all this I'm just gonna hit P on my keyboard because I prefer to work in perspective mode so I showed you this uh, I showed you this and you know you can zoom in and out and whatnot right now let's go in here let's go and take let's say our standard flow here brushes okay you can go in and have that intensity and draw size pushed up but keep in mind um, compared to a mouse what you have here is you got pressure sensitivity so if I go over my cube here very faintly you don't see a lot you see subtle changes if you look closely but what happens when I start to add pressure and I'm just pushing harder on the pen you can see that that responds immediately now that's in my opinion kind of the whole point of having a pen display right the uh, the ability to add subtle changes to a surface right now this is not intended as a ZBrush tutorial so I'm not gonna show you guys how everything works I'm just trying to explain to you guys that it's super responsive quick but most importantly it's very accurate okay so that's it for my uh, Pablo Coast uh, or Coast Pablo uh, 16 review um, 
Harwell Co. 16 review. Yeah. Uh, if you've got any questions about this thing, uh, I'll help you if I can. If not, I'll bring you guys in contact with Pablo. All right. Uh, I'll put a link below so you can see what this thing does retail. And uh, for me personally, I'm going to say two thumbs up and that uh, this is a keeper as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching this review and see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.